Oh, it felt so good. You know, I got to sing with Queen and the kids. Yeah, you did. I mean, first or second, it doesn't matter to me. I got to sing with two great heroic rock bands of mine. So. Have you gotten the offers already? Couple. <laughs> um, but you know, nothing but positive support. And that's what's been so great about this whole experience is that it's been very encouraging, the environment. I never felt like anybody was like, well, you can't do that, you can't sing that, you can't say that, you can't wear that. It wasn't like, run with it, Adam, do your thing. So it's been really cool. cool. Are you ready? Everybody Everybody has a former weird kid, too. Mm -hmm. How did you ever find the courage to get up and do what you do, even if you were only 10? Uh, you know, it, when I was younger, it was scarier to take risks, you know? And I just kept pushing myself uh, throughout my early 20s to just kind of push myself to the point where it wasn't scary anymore. Adam, did you feel that, uh, at what point did you feel, I think they announced the name, your name wasn't announced in the end, what were you feeling inside, did you, did you think you were in there, and, and then bam, I didn't get it? Well, you know, I knew it was going to be a close race, you know, I think Chris is incredibly talented, and he's a good person, so to me it was like, okay, we know it's going to be close, whatever happens, happens, we made it this far, we got to do a really cool finale, and we're both going to get to do great things now in the future. It's not really about, for me, it's not really about what happens tonight. It's about tomorrow. It's about next. So we'll now see. the blogs are going to be saying uh, he didn't win because he was gay or he was he wasn't gay. And, and what are your thoughts on Is that what, what they're going to say? Well, they're, already, they're already writing those things and saying those things. <laughs> they're writing right, right, right. The blogs have a lot of opinions, don't they? So, so what are your thoughts on why you didn't win? I, I, I think that I think that, that Chris won because he's a great artist, you know? And I was happy to be a runner up to that. What's your dream now? My dream now is to make a, a really dope record, you know? Is to do something do something new, something push the boundaries a little bit, push people's buttons, open people's minds up a little bit. And you know what's really, really, really cool about me and Chris being in the finals tonight is that we are seemingly so different, but we found a way to get along and find a common bond, mostly through music, but also just through talking and getting to know each other. And if there's anything that can come from this experience that I hope that all the fans out there can pick up is that even if you're really different, there's a way to get along with each other. And it's not about, oh, you beat me because of this, or you, you're different. It's about finding the common stuff that, that makes it work. We got up there and did the Queen do it, and we made it work because we found a common ground with each other. And like, if, if there's anything that we can take away from this, it's like, bring, bring you guys together is what our goal was, not separate you. Did you have a strategy in the competition? Strategy. Yeah, I mean, if, if my strategy was just to kind of show all different sides, you know, and also there's a very fine line between giving the audience what they wanted and then also me kind of trying to introduce stuff that maybe they didn't know they wanted. What's the style from Adam? Say again? style. Um, I just kind of like things that are different, you know what I mean? I like things that are like, that make you look. I don't like to blend in. I like to stand out, you know? Uh, this is a Cavalli jacket that I'm really, really into. <laughs> um, but I feel great, you know. I, I'm, I'm exhausted and I'm shocked, you know, I'm really shocked. When you auditioned for American Idol, did you know you were going to be America's role model? Absolutely not. <laughs> hey Chris, 100 million votes came in tonight, 38 million fought just reporting here from Arkansas. Oh, what do you like? What should you say about that? That that's I, if that's true, I, that I really really appreciate that. I know that Arkansas was really really behind me, so thank you so much. What did you and your wife t say after the end of the show? We actually didn't say anything. We just uh, <laughs> we were just hugging each other. We we're just like, oh, we can be married, you know. Like, <laughs> we haven't been able to be married for the past nine months. How's she handling all the pressure? She's amazing. Like she's she's like the coolest chick in the world. So uh, she's amazing. How do you feel like your personal life is gonna change after tonight? Um, the personal life is, you know, I think that hopefully me and my wife get some more time together. But uh, you know, not being in Arkansas as much as uh, as much as I was. But uh, so I, I'm 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 happy that I have a music career. That's nice. Chris, I'm happy when you said Adam deserves it. What what do you mean by that? Why why was that the first thing? Yeah, I, you know, because I actually feel that I feel like you know that he deserves it just as much as I do. Um, he's an amazing, amazing performer, gifted, gifted guy, and great, like, really just an amazing guy. And, um, and it's, it was fun doing this with him, it really was. Adam said he put, was pushing the envelope uh, right from the start. Did yeah. you feel at one point you had to follow in that footstep? 
no, you know, for me, like, Adam, that's just, I mean, I'm going to do mine, and, you know, and that, that's what I feel like I did through the whole competition, was just do my thing, and, uh, and I think it worked. When you Obviously. finally heard your, when you finally heard your name, what, what, when you finally heard your name, yeah, what was going through your mind, like, did they really call my name? Uh, and, you know, for me, I was shocked, you know, and I, I, I'm, I felt shocked almost every week that I made it, and to be, to be the American Idol, I'm completely shocked. Yeah. What was the best part about American Idol for you? For the whole, throughout the whole thing, what was the best part about it? The best part about the whole company. You know, just in general, as the best part for you in terms of what you did with Adam. Yeah, I think the, the best thing throughout the whole competition, and I know that sounds cheesy or whatever, but we've made some really, really good friends. And, uh, and I love those guys, I really do. It's always a blast. Why did it take so long for you to audition? <laughs> I'm 23, man. <laughs> Adam, what, Adam's what? 20, 28? 27. Ah, the geezer. Do you hear back from Kanye about Heartless? Any feedback from him? I haven't heard anything um, from him personally, but I did hear that he liked it. Man. Well, so, the last time for thank the you very much. Stay for a round. thought you could win. Uh, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. So there you have it, guys. American Idol inside, outside, around the corner, everything. Your new American Idol snake been backstage. You've been all over. It's been crazy. It's been wild. I gotta go to bed now. I need a cocktail. Orange juice, please. <laughs>